I'm Amanda George, and this is the book Breathing by Cheryl Herbsman. Savannah has asthma after her father left, but then one summer Jackson comes to North Carolina and she meets him and her asthma goes away. But then at the end of the summer, when Jackson has to go back home, Savannah's asthma comes back and she has to find a way to get, to get him to come home so she can breathe again. In the book The Boyfriend List by E. Lockhart, Ruby has a list of 12 boys and she defines everything that she does with them from her first kiss to becoming a social outcast. It was a long time ago that I read this, but I remember it was real funny. In the book One of Those Hideous Books Where the Mother Dies by Sonia Soames, uh, Ruby's mother passes away and she goes to live with her movie star dad in Los Angeles, but she comes to find out that he was kicked out of the house and at the end she finds out a huge secret that her dad has been keeping for the reason why her mom kicked him out. But it's really funny and also it's written in verse so it goes pretty quickly. It's where it's shortened down in stanzas, not with no rhyme scheme but it's easier to read and instead of paragraphs it's in stanzas. Define Normal by Julianne Peters. Antonia is one of the popular people in school. She's an overachiever and when she decides to participate in the counseling program she has to counsel this girl named Jasmine Luther, also known as Jazz. Uh, Jazz is dark, gothic, wears dark makeup and seems very emo but then Jazz helps Antonia find out more about her and her family even if it's pretty twisted. And Jazz also has a secret side. She's a beautiful pianist, and Antonia gets to see her perform in a talent show. Hello, this week I finished it last week for a second time. It's I Tell You That I Love You, But Then I Have to Kill You by Allie Carter. Cammie Morgan goes to an undercover spy school that her mom is the headmaster of, and it's all girls, and Everyone around the town thinks it's just this elite girl, elite all girls school for the top girls in the country, but they're learning like 14 different languages and all different spy techniques and stuff. But then on one time when Cammie goes out of the school, she meets this boy and she, has, she really likes him and so she has to find ways to sneak out of the school and meet him. But then she gets caught, and then you have to find out what happens when she gets caught, and her mom actually knows the whole time, so you have to, you have to find that out. In the book, The Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesia by Gabrielle Zevin, um, the girl, I don't know her name right now, but she's at school for one of the clubs that she's in, and she's about to leave, and she falls down the stairs and wakes up in the hospital, has no idea what's going on, but the boy there is helping her, and he's like, okay, yeah, everything's better. But then they start dating, and she really likes him, but he has this dark side that she doesn't know about. And so she's trying to help him while trying to remember what's going on. And then halfway through, she remembers everything. It all comes back to her, but she doesn't tell him until the end. So be it by Sarah Weeks. This girl has a mother who has a very limited vocabulary, who has a mental disability, So, and her neighbor, uh, they, she can pass through a door in the closet to go see her, but this neighbor refuses to leave her apartment because she's scared something might happen. But then finally, she helps her neighbor leave, and they run away to this home to, that her mother used to stay and it might and she tries to find more about her mom before she developed this mental disability. I remember I cried reading that but it was so good. Okay. In the book Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli, um, this girl named Star Girl starts at this school in Arizona and this boy Leo, who the book is about mostly, starts to she he's intrigued by Star Girl. But then when she, he thinks, why is she like this? Why isn't she just normal? She becomes normal and starts to go by her real name. Then, then he's thinking, no, I liked her when she was Stargirl because that's who she truly was. 
and Stargirl changes her name monthly, but Stargirl is the longest she's been. And one of the men in Leo's life, who he always goes to his house, and there's a big suero cactus in the backyard, always talks to him, and everybody always goes there, but then he finds out that that's where Stargirl always went before she even started at the school, and that this man knows all the secrets behind her life.